Welcome back to Something Everydayers. Today should be a new episode, non-lawnmower related. We will be doing a 3D printing project. So as you can see, here is a plane. This plane belongs to a friend of mine's son, Gino, and it's actually little Gino. So you can see in the back here that this rear wing is actually broken. So we were asked to 3D print a new one. Essentially, we need to make this shape, but on a 3D printer. I don't know anyone that's done this before. Uh, I know you can 3D print whatever you want, so we are going to find out. The idea is that this new 3D printed rear tail wing, whatever you want to call it, won't break as easily as these little styrofoam pieces do. So let's make sure that we model it up correctly to size, and then print it out, and we'll see what happens. guys think of that tripod action. Okay, so the print should be all cooled and easily removed now. Well, it's still a little warm. Well, that was neat. Well, it certainly does fly for a wing. <laughs> Interesting. Kind of ripples in there. This is one of the widest pieces I've ever made. I guess let's go see if it fits in the plane. Hmm. Okay, so here's a test with the original wing in the back. Okay, Let's see if we can get one going in this direction. Yeah, actually flies pretty good. But I'll tell you right now, the styrofoam wing is much, much, much lighter than this new ABS wing. So let's pull out the styrofoam wing and install the ABS one. So, there's that new ABS wing printed up. Let's see how she do. So even though we got the 3D printed wing to actually work, it works like garbage. I'm thinking that if you add some weight to the front end of this, it'll keep it nice and balanced. Although how much weight, I'm not really sure. I suppose the easiest thing to do would be to hook it up on a scale right in the middle and see which way it pivots after adding and subtracting some weight. So what did we learn in this episode? That even though we can print things, doesn't mean it's always the best option, or that we should find a better solution to this problem so we can continue. Anyway, I think that's gonna wrap up this episode. That's going to wrap up this episode of Do Something Every Day 2. I hope you enjoyed watching this content. It's viewers like you that keep me going. Honestly, whenever I see new subscriber, it just makes my day. Thanks very much for watching. We will see you on the next episode, and maybe I'll work with Gino so we can get this thing figured out. I really think just adding some weight to the front end will solve the problem. Okay, we'll see you on the next one.